draw structures for all constitutional isomers with the following molecular formula C5H12. This is my Lochi bringing you yet another chemistry video. So what are constitutional isomers? These are molecules that have the same exact formula but different structure and different connection. So in our case, our formula is C5H12. We have five carbons and 12 hydrogens. All of the constitutional isomers must have five carbons and 12 hydrogens, but they will have a different connection and therefore they will be named differently. Let's go ahead and start. We have five carbons, so we can go ahead and start by drawing five carbons. So we have carbon connected to carbon. Let me make it a little thicker and let me change. Oops. So we have carbon, 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 and carbon. And we have 12 hydrogens. Every carbon wants to have four bonds. So let's see if satisfying this will give us 12 hydrogens. One. So this carbon has this, this, this carbon, this, and this. And we're going to add hydrogens everywhere. And let's see if that will give us 12 hydrogens or not. One, two, three, four, five carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this indeed, this molecule it has five carbons and twelve hydrogens. Another way I could draw it is using bond angle structure. So I could do a zigzag line like this. One, two, three, four, five. And this line represents every time we see end of the line or two lines coming together that's a carbon and hydrogens are not even shown in this kind of bond bond angle structure but they're assumed so this carbon has only one bond that means it has three hydrogens and so on this is an easier way to draw this uh, so this is our first molecule now how could we change this to give us a different molecule, different structure, but that has the same number of carbons and hydrogens. The best way to change it is by shortening my chain by one carbon and adding that carbon somewhere else. For example, instead of a five carbon chain, I could have a four carbon chain, one, two, three, four. Where could I add my fifth carbon? it could go either on this carbon or on this carbon. Notice, you could not end it to the end. Do not end it to the end, because if we end it, if we add it to one of the ends, we will go back, we will have the same molecule that we have drawn before. So do not, when you shorten the chain, do not end your carbon at the end. We can add it here. Now, what do I have? This will be called pantane. This would be called 2-methylbutane. So it has a different name because my parent chain is butane. What if I, for example, decided to add this methyl group here? Oh, well, these two molecules are actually the same. This is not a constitutional isomer because, again, we have a butane parent chain, 4-carbon parent chain, and I added my, ethyl to, my methyl group to the second carbon again. So you have to be really careful when you draw constitutional isomers to make sure you do not draw the same one. And naming is one of the best ways to, um, to make sure that you don't do that. So I just figured out that when I shorten my carbon chain by one carbon, I could add methyl here only, or it could be here, but it would give me the same molecule. So we're done with that chain. And what can I do next? Let's shorten my parent chain by, the yet, by yet another carbon. So let's have a three carbon parent chain. Now I have two carbons to add. Where could I add them? Again, we do not want to add them to the ends because that will bring us to the same molecules that we have drawn before. So here, we can only add it here. And this molecule would have a different name. The parent chain is propane and I have two methyl groups on the second carbon. So these are all of the constitutional isomers for my C5H12. I have three constitutional isomers. I cannot do anything else. 
and we have a five carbon parent chain, a four carbon parent chain, and a three carbon parent chain here. This is Maya Lucci, and I hope that you found this video helpful.